Hello everyone. Uh, today we have Sindhura with us. She is from IEM branch and she got placed in Western Digital. Today she will be sharing her interview experience with us. So like in enterprise uh, planning role, like, what will it usually be like? What are uh, what are enterprise planning engineers supposed to do? It's like for someone who uh, doesn't know about it. Who doesn't know about the ERP uh, means uh, in simple words, I can say that enterprise resource planning, if we split that enterprise is nothing but a company or any industry and resources are nothing but uh, some of the M's like man, material, management, money and all. And planning is about scheduling. So uh, bringing up summing, uh, summing up all this together, uh, we can uh, tell that. Uh, how we plan every aspect, uh, like optimization of the resources and also reducing the cost in an enterprise would be the main aim of ERP. But it depends on the companies, uh, like what the roles and what the uh, uh, work would be there. Uh, we will be getting to know after entering into that field. Okay, yeah, nice. So like uh, you, did you have any test or return test or screening test or how was the screening process? Yes, actually, they had informed that we'll be conducting online test, and uh, there would be there will be sections from uh, quantitative uh, and uh, logical and uh, uh, verbal ability, and also MCQs from Python and networking. But uh, before that, they had the criteria of CGPA shortlisting and resume based selection. Uh, the CGPA uh, shortlisting was for the students that are uh, above seven point five CGPA. Okay. So if there was a return test, they would have told what would be your sections in the test. Yeah. So how did you prepare yeah. for that? Uh, actually, uh, I had started preparing for uh, uh, quantitative uh, re uh, aptitude, logical reasoning and verbal ability from my fifth sim. So everything was uh, only on quants or you had some programming things also in the return test, like any uh, programming? Uh uh, actually, uh, for our IM brands, there would be no uh, particular uh, um, specification or importance given to uh, programming in uh, tests. But we have to know uh, it would be helpful if we know one language, any uh, like Python language or C programming, C++. And also, we should have some idea about SQL. It would be an advantage for us. Oh, OK. Uh, so you got screened uh, from your college for the interview uh, how did your interview go about can you share details about your interview like what were asked how many rounds were there all these details yes ma'am the interview had been divided into four rounds technical one technical two managerial and hr round and for im the main subjects that we have to uh, go through uh, would be uh, for supply chain or erp related role the first main subject is quality assurance and reliability and also there is a subject which is known as operations research and the main topics from last final year that is from 7 sem and 8 sem would be supply chain management lean manufacturing and also total quality management so these are the subjects that every im student should focus on and the questions in technical one and technical two uh, rounds were also mainly on these and also they had main focus on our projects our internships and uh, we should as everyone says we should go through the resume in and out in our uh, so that they can ask any question from our resume uh, like uh, for example there is a word term known as kaizen uh, in our im which means that kaizen which means it is a japanese word which is for change for better well, we had a kaizen tech fest and I had, I was volunteer in that, and I had mentioned that in my resume. We uh, we should be able to analyze and tell about that because those are some of the key terms in IM, like uh, that. So that we have to be aware of that. They would ask about that, and also mainly about lean manufacturing and all. What is lean? And uh, there are different types of lean. Lean is nothing but how we optimize the resources and eliminate the wastes from that. It is the main concept in our role. So we have to be aware of all those concepts and also uh, another main important subject as i mentioned earlier is total quality management uh, there there would be many questions so after that in managerial round the questions were uh, very tricky like uh, one question uh, some of the questions uh, i would like to share is uh, first one they had asked was 
I will give you five zeros, make it 120. Uh, actually, at that moment, I also didn't got to know how to do that. But after that, when I came and I researched, I got to know uh, that we have to uh, align those five zeros in, uh, we have to write all the five zeros and we have to put plus for all of them, zero plus zero plus zero plus zero. Then we have to put factorial for every zero, zero factorial plus zero factorial, zero factorial. The uh, obviously zero factorial is one. So one plus one plus one plus one. So it would be five. Again, we have to put five factorial. So uh, five into four into three into two into one, it would be 120. Uh, like that, some questions were asked, but uh, the manager was uh, uh, not very strict and uh, she made me comfortable and she gave time for me to answer everything. Like if we don't answer in these type of questions also, but we have to have a good approach for that. At least we have to try for that. That's what they are looking for in us. And uh, the last round was uh, HR discussion round. Uh, there, there were- uh, One minute before uh, going to HR. In, uh, no. uh, in your technical round, was there any questions on your subjects? Like, do you remember any technical questions or anything related to your uh, subjects that were asked? You can mention one yeah. or two if you remember. Uh, in technical one round, uh, they had asked me about the supply chain management and uh, what are the drivers in the supply chain management, different phases that they had in SCM. And also they, uh, they asked some of the terms from total quality management. Uh, uh, there are some important terms like Kanban. Kanban means a visual card uh, which will be used in the industries. Uh, for the moment of uh, work, uh, works, uh, workflow of the uh, assembly lines uh, and also uh, some uh, terms like uh, from quality uh, assurance and reliability were asked the uh, like uh, POCA, okay that means that means full proofing of uh, like even a fool cannot uh, do a mistake uh, that's the main concept behind POCA, okay and then you had a HR round also, I believe. Ah, yes, ma'am. Can you tell anything uh, about how it was? Or yeah, yes, ma'am. Actually, uh, before coming to our college, uh, we had a pre-placement talk in which uh, uh, some of the panel of uh, our interview round had come, and the HR was also there in the pre-placement talk. And uh, the first thing we should do when we are attending a pre-placement talk, like every student is that we have to note down everything what they say about their company, like their vision, mission, their values, and what they are up to, and what they would be doing in the next uh, uh, future years, and before what they had uh, achieved, how they had overcome some of the challenges. Uh, we should know about them all. And uh, I uh, I do this for um, uh, every uh, pre-placement talk I attended that, uh, I would go through their LinkedIn uh, profile uh, if uh, it is available uh, in the LinkedIn. Uh, we have to search about that. Uh, since I said earlier that I was uh, in ERP role, uh, the pre-placement in pre-placement talk, uh, my technical second uh, uh, interview panelist was uh, present. And I had gone through uh, their uh, uh, LinkedIn profile and also HR's uh, LinkedIn profile. Uh, so uh, the first thing that we should know is that we can't lie to them because they are at the higher positions and they can judge us within the few minutes of our uh, uh, interview uh, st interview discussion. Uh, so we should be very uh, transparent. And we should, if we don't know anything, there is nothing wrong. We can say uh, uh, we didn't know about that. Uh, so in HR round, there were normal questions like uh, tell for the first was introduce about yourself and uh, some of the questions like uh, what, which is your family? Uh, like uh, tell me about your family uh, and some questions uh, related to HR and some basic questions about uh, in, in my resume. For HR questions, I uh, go through. I went through a, a website which is known as Interview Coach with the with Diksha Arora. Uh, it is also available in Instagram, YouTube, and as well as LinkedIn. Now, can you uh, tell about how you prepared for your interview and the written exam? Like, do you remember any preparation material, like online preparation material or books that students can refer? Uh, as well, for the MCQ part, I went through the indiabix.com 
and for students who would like to uh, go through any uh, offline books i would suggest rs agarwal and also for uh, uh, reading comprehension part i would suggest a book from arun sharma and uh, what i was doing for every interview before I was uh, going through every interview was that i would uh, uh, go through that company's uh, role like their mission vision and values and what they are into and uh, i would uh, go, go into a website which is known as uh, glassdoor and uh, there is another website which is uh, familiar to everyone geeks for geeks uh, i went through these websites and searched uh, the previous interview experiences that were shared uh, uh, from the earlier uh, uh, students uh, there we should uh, we will get uh, an uh, idea that for example uh, there is a subject uh, which is known as uh, basic thermodynamics in that subject there will be a concept which is known as internal combustion engine that is the main part in that subject that uh, most of the interview uh, interview panelists would uh, focus on while asking so that we will get to know about every uh, the main subjects that that company would uh, uh, be focusing on and also the concepts in that subject which would be of more focus uh for uh, since uh, i am in iim i had read about mechanical as well so i would uh, tell about the youtube channels that i uh, uh, that i used uh, to read uh, for mechanical and iim for mechanical there are three youtube channels learn and grow ekida and uh, tutorials point from which i i uh, 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 these were the channels from which i prepared and uh, the main subjects from mecha mechanical that everyone should focus are strength of materials basic thermodynamics and fluid mechanics and uh, production processes uh, metrology and measurement and also there is a subject which is common to iim and mechanical students which is uh, project management these are the main subjects that everyone should focus on and uh, for the iim role the main subjects that i would suggest are supply chain management ERP enterprise resource planning quality assurance and reliability uh, marketing management work study ergonomics operations research and main concepts from the final year are total quality management as well uh, so for these i had uh, gone through a, a youtube channel which is known as dvedi guidance and uh, also there was another youtube channel sharma ji's tutorial and another thing that everyone should uh, that i did uh, during my preparation was there is a website known as interviewgrid.com uh, for every particular subject there were top questions that could be asked or the the general questions that everyone needs to know so first i went through for particular subject i went through that uh, website and then i switched to the youtube and my notes that were provided by my institution so for the hr round i uh, gone through a youtube channel known as interview coach with diksha arora 